Yeah. So the origin of, of this uh, Abadea Cottage as Madraka Day Challenge came about from our struggle for independence or Madraka and it's held around the same time because we are celebrating all the efforts of our freedom fighters, the Mau Mau uh, soldiers. The rest is run on the Mau Mau route, which is basically the supply route where the camps are being fed with food and uh, water and whatever, maybe ammunition, I don't know. But it's very, very important for us who come to this race that we must uh, honor and remember all the efforts of our heroes who struggled so hard for the nation and we owe their, our independence to them 100%. So that's why, that is the way, the, the justification for holding the race in the first place. All right, let's get started. The Abadea Cottage is rest June 2023. This was taking place in the newly rerouted circuit, which was informed by the less traffic and more challenging climbs and descent, which is quite different from the usual Nokanyoka that many are accustomed to. When the participation list came out, it was quite clear this was going to be a hotly contested podium finish, Battle of the Titans. KR, Saucy, Bike Garage, and Bike Tribe, among maybe others, were well represented. Interesting enough, there was no neutral zone in this race, and as soon as they flagged it off, it got electric and very fast. And in no time, the first breakaway group was established. The pace was pretty fast, and not many could keep up. Understandably so. This terrain is not for the faint hearted. You had to bring all you had. Many were dropped and very fast. Brian Tubbs, among the rest, pedaling hard here trying to catch up with the breakaway group, which is currently being dominated by KR, Team Saucy, and by garage. Team strategy in full display right here. Moses Muiruri from Bicycle Garage, leading the wolf pack, clearly on a mission to kill, intentionally and determined to pull this away. One thing about this first breakaway is, is that if you just manage to hold on to the attacks, the pest goes off eventually and you get a bit of recovery period. Moses Murray is still leading the pack with a comfortable controller at the front, dictating the pest as they slowly drop some riders. There's a second group forming from the batch. Breakaway group just missed their first turn. This is going to cost them a few seconds. You can see the smile of disbelief on all of their faces. As part of the brief, they are supposed to make the first right turn after the first 10 kilometers. The Kenyan riders are hot on their tails trying to make up for the lost time. This should not be a problem given how well coordinated and strong they work as a team. So we expect them to be back to the leading peloton in less than the next 5 kilometers. Bobby Joseph is pedaling hard trying to catch up with the peloton. The pace is quite hot and he has to do this individually which makes it a bit hard because he has to fight against the wind and headwinds. Moses and Patrick are clearly on a mission here. No chance of slowing down at all. Great teamwork. No room for error. The Kenyan riders are hot on their tails trying to make up for the lost time. This should not be a problem given how well coordinated and strong they work as a team. So we expect them to be back to the leading peloton.
Okay, yo, this is turning out to be a race between two titans. Of course, with the exception of Cornelius, who is with other teammates, but holding on comfortably at the top. You know, he's working cordially with the other teammates, you'll think they train together, which is acceptable when you're trying to win. Attacks on descents. This is a race of skills and wit. As maneuvering through these corners at high speeds is not easy. Many of them found themselves in the bushes. The current breakaway group at the front now has an almost 3 meter long lead, if not more, on the second badge. A very cozy gap which, if maintained properly, they're definitely going to win this. They keep looking back but not threat. This has officially been reduced to a 5-man, 3-team race. Moses Murray is still at the front controlling the pace. It's interesting how long he's held this position for, without even being behind anyone's slipstream. Not even his teammate Patrick. Possibly a strategy or a zone is comfortably in.
Whoa, it seems as if Paul has just developed a mechanical on this bike and he's had to swap it with Peter's bike. The gap is currently being formed at the front by bicycle garage as they're still pushing harder. Still in trouble here as it appears his bike is still being repaired, it's having issues. Making their way through the market, less than 20 kilometers left at this point. Hair is still trying to rejoin the, the front batch. There's a gap of almost a minute between bicycle garage lead and Kear. Despite being a long ranger though, with no teammate, Cornelia is also putting in the work at the front, taking turns with Moses in the setting alongside Patrick. Just to be able to keep up with the pace and try and pull away from Kear. Paul and Peter from KR, the P squared, are closing the gap slowly and now just to the inside. This seems to be a bit of a 30 second gap between the two. This is quite impressive given how far and how affected they've been with the mechanical issues on the bike stock. And trying to chase this lead gap, it's quite impressive coming from them. I mean, it's not always easy to just a gap. Paul has finally been able to close the gap and rejoin Moses, Patrick and Cornelius at the front. But it seems as if Peter has been left behind. Probably more mechanical issues on his bike. This is yet to be confirmed. The pack has now been reduced to four and slowly pulling away. Paul is riding carefully at the back, strategizing maybe. You can see him drinking and pouring the last drop of water from his bottle, perhaps in a move to cut down on weight. Given that there is less than 5 kilometers to the finish line and the climbs are about, I'm, sur 
I'm suspecting he's about to hit them with an attack. Yo, there you go. An attack on the climb. No answer. He's pulling away. Moses is trying to hold on to it. Patrick follows, so does Cornelius. But this is just too strong a move from Paul. The attacking tenacity is off the chart. Paul pulls away. He can smell the victory now. The gap is slowly building. It's just too big now. What a move. What a spin. Podium. Here I come. Amazing. The last stretch, I don't think Patrick or Moses will be able to catch up. They just can't close this. This is just too big. And it came as a surprise. Nobody was expecting this. And given that they've been leading from the front for so long, you can tell that they've been worn out for a bit. Because... by the dominant Moses Mourinho, pure class to emerge victorious and defend his title back to back champion remember he won this same race last year and to emerge as a champion to collect both categories for GC and under 23 now tell me if that is not impressive after dominating and leading the entire way, Moses Muriri falls short to number two as Patrick Mugo takes number three. Cornel Skipwomboy doing it all along, scooping the fourth position as Peter Karanja closes the top five podium finish in a record time. Uh, 